Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Oh Lord, highly favored and hope the same for you. <laughs> and if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for just, you know, just being you, being able to, you know, embrace everything about you, being able to know that you're willing to use open minus open open minus using oh using your open mind that's what i'm trying to say towards the unknown so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload a new video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback and the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information um that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark times right now, they need confirmation and validation towards their path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support. I'm so gratefully appreciated. Uh, I appreciate that. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content in your vid my videos. Ugh, I don't know what's wrong with me. That the lights flashing going across with the lights flashing going across my screen and kind of got distracting. Um and the meditation music I'm listening to today is called Emmet Love Energy to the One You Love. 639 hertz attract love med meditation binary beats and i'll post that link in the description box below now being able to you know oh lord being able to you know have that loving vibe going towards people you love i say i love all y'all from the bottom of my heart you know it's it's really good um today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas embrace embracing your spiritual enlightenment you know it's like when we're going down the situation and you know I'm mean going down the situation going in our journey um, we go we, we, we went through some really traumatic things we really have um, some things you're open about what you went through and some of them you, you know you just keep to yourself because that's something that you know is probably a thorn in your side or something that you um, are really it, it gives you a heavy vibe off and stuff like that so being able to, to see everything in a different light um, when you're not emotional being able to not engage into your ego you know the the words from the ego you know they will you know ego goes into a state of shock when we go through changes and I know y'all probably heard me say that because it's true you know and you can be going down a really dark path um, through life and it, it can make you very bitter. It can make you very angry, you know, and be a very depressed, you know, solace type person or whatever you call it, melancholy, whatever. But going through that, you know, I had to, you know, I had to step back for a while, you know, doing all that, analyzing myself, looking at how my world is going, looking at how my path is going. And knowing I had to use that spiritual enlightenment, you know, not being able to be mad at people that put me in a certain situation that I'm in, being able to let that go because, you know, I have beautiful things that's coming towards my way. I can't be able to embrace those beautiful things until I can acknowledge the fact is, okay, this happened to you. You know, it happened to you for a reason. Um, you know. And you have to be honest with yourself. You have to really be honest with yourself and look at everything for what it's worth. You know, um, when we're going through, you you want to have bigger things in your life. You, you want to have better things in your life. Being able to have all those things. You know, you're manifesting these things through a laws of attraction. Be able to see the signs that things are coming, but there might be in a standstill if you're so angry with certain people or you're, you know, you're, you know, you're angry with yourself. You have to be able to forgive yourself and forgive others. And it's just like with my family, it's like I actually can say I forgive them in a humble heart 
you know, because it's just like, if I didn't go through the situation I'm going through, and y'all probably heard me say this a lot, but it's really true. If I did not go through the situation I went through, I wouldn't have met y'all. I wouldn't have known what my full potential was in my life. Being able to acknowledge that and be honest with myself, like, yes, I allowed these people to have power over me because they did me so wrong. Yes, they did. But people are people. <laughs> you, I mean, when you, you can't. You can't sit up here and be mad at somebody who does not have the same heart as you. You know, that tells a lot about their character as well as your own. You know, and it's just like, if I want these beautiful things in my life, I, you know, I can't be fooling myself. You know, you have to be able to let all this anger go. Let all the pain go. Let all the things that has went into your life to where, you know, you, you don't listen to your ego. Because your ego sit up here and tell you, oh, you're going to continue to keep going through this. Or, no, you know, you know, God just uh, did this to you. And he's not going to keep his promise on what he said that he was going to give you. Um, you know, working towards the things you're working on is going to take forever. You know, it will tell you negative things that will keep you in that low frequency. But you have to be able to kill off that ego. And be able to say, okay, I will be able to embrace my things that I truly want in my life. When I can actually be honest with myself and say, I have let everything out of my life go, being able to surrender all that, you know, and I had to really look at that for what it was because it's like for the last few days, you know, I, I mean, I was in that dark place. I really was. That's why, you know, I took off a day or two, you know. I was really in the dark place because I know going through my dad's anniversary, it brought up a lot of old wounds that I thought I was really over with. And it's just like, you know, um, I, I just sat up here and said that my family is just like people I knew in my memory. And it's just like, you know what? I can actually say instead of saying that, these are people that shocked me into knowing who I truly am. Yeah, I hate that I had to go through the things that I went through, but it allows me to say, you know what? forgive them you know let it go <laughs> just let it go you know there's nothing you can do to change the situation that you're in the only thing you can do is just make a positive future for your you know positive situation for your future being able to do that um, and forgive myself for allowing these things to take power over me you know yeah they did some really messed up stuff but you know you have better things coming in your life you see signs all the time but you can't sit up here and be mad you know you can't keep dwelling on the things that you know it's not going to make any difference for you to keep dwelling on them because it's like you can't change what happened in the past all you, all you can do is just allow yourself to know you won't let anybody else hurt you like that again you're not going to give these let these people have power over you you um you're not going to listen to your ego you're going to listen to your heart you know just to let you know in your soul and in your in intuition that's why my, my intuition is basically because you that hard will mess with you too let me, and let me retort your intuition you know and I had to really look at it that way it's just like and that, I mean it makes me feel like a big weight is lifted off my shoulders when I said that because I'm not saying it and looking, giving a side eye or nothing like that I can honestly sit up here and say you know what if it you know I went through some hell <laughs> I really went through some hell but it allowed me to know myself, you know, knowing my true self, knowing that I'm multi-gifted, being able to embrace all these beautiful gifts about me and being able to help others and do the same. You know, that's the beautiful thing out of it. You know, not thinking of my situation as being such a tragedy, being able to acknowledge, yes, that was a dark spot that it put me in, but everything happens for a reason. You know, I might not know everything right now. It's on a need-to-know basis. All I know is if I want to keep going where I want to head to, I have to be able to let the old stuff go. You know, when you hold on to those things, and I have to tell myself that, really tell myself that, you know, um, there's people that, you, you know, I, I'm just constantly getting tested. I'm just constantly getting tested. You know, I got tried yesterday, and it was like I didn't even engage in it. It was just like somebody just really tried to get in under my skin yesterday. And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not going to allow that to happen to me. You know, just exit them out my life and just let it, you know, let it go. And being able to do that. And it felt so good to not just sit up here and be pondering about it, thinking about it. You know, just like, you know, why did this have to happen? Why did that have to happen? And just, you know, 
you get tested along the way see how you're gonna respond to certain things that's all it is life is just a big test as, as it is just to see how you're gonna respond are you gonna keep dwelling off of the things you know that just happened yesterday and it, ha it, it ain't gonna bring nothing about it today did you nip it in the bud yes I did okay then leave it alone and that's all I had to do and I said you know what self self said hmm I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself because I was allowing myself to just embrace everything. Even though it was a dark time for me, I didn't snap. You know, any other time someone would mess with me on that day, especially yesterday, oh, they would have got, they would have caught it from every end. But it was like, you know what? Don't even stoop to that person's level. Don't even do that. But when I'm really, really, really stepped back and looked at my whole situation, like the broad, you know, abroad. Just really look at everything. When I say that, the lights keep flashing, okay? I didn't do it that time. But being able to look at everything in a whole different perspective, being able to say, you know what? This situation has brought y'all into my life. Being able to do videos by using that as an outlet, it makes me feel better. And it's allowing me to be able to see things for what it is and know what it's worth. And it's just like, you know what you're, you're gonna be okay you're really gonna be okay and it's just like when I can sit up here and think about those things I can actually think about it and it doesn't give me emotions you know I, I just can't go into the ego anymore I had to really be honest with myself there's nothing you can do to change anybody but you can change yourself you can change the people you hang around you can change you know just the way you you, you know you handle things and it's just like I can be very proud of myself and you, you need to be able to be proud of yourself as well especially if you're not doing things you know somebody tries you or whatever and you're not going the old route that you used to because I know I like the last word <laughs> I, I like the last word you say something I'm like say something you're like okay you keep on talking mm -hmm. you know I'm already wanting to be that one that does that but now I'm just like you know I'm not gonna argue with you I'm not gonna try to prove you wrong I ain't gonna try to prove you right you know, it all is what it is, you know, and it's just like, I embrace that, you know, and I, I'm, so, I'm so proud of myself, but when you're going through, you know, embracing your spiritual enlightenment, you allow yourself to be honest with yourself. There's nothing you can do to change your past. Your past is what made you. It's not the traumatic situation that made you that way, but it the, tr the trauma has strengthened you. The trauma has educated you. You know, it just allows you to know it's not making you trying to, it's not trying to tell you, okay, this happened, so you need to put a wall up. No, but it also tells you to pay attention to more of people's, you know, their words as well as their actions. Does it match up the same way? If they're doing one thing and, but, ex, you know, showing another, then you know you need to exit out your life. If their, you know, their words and their actions are, you know, in balance, then you know what it's worth. So being able to do that. And killing the ego forgive yourself forgive others not allow the situation that you were put in hold that power over you You need to be able to break those chains you, you know those chains weren't meant to be on your arms for the rest of your life they're not supposed to be so allow yourself to be able to let go of those emotional chains allow yourself to be able to see the things for what they truly are because if you want the better things in life those are the things you're gonna have to do to let go so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Hope everybody had a blessed, safe Easter. And all these lights keep flashing, so I must have been talking about some good stuff. So I hope you're able to resonate. Give me your your uh, your opinion on on the video. I greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. And you know, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and my post notification goes to uh, Ballsy Halsey, Edge of the Sun, and Sandy White. Much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I hope you have a blessed, safe week and it's prosperous as well. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And, you know, say kind words to other people. You never know what they're going through. It might take them a very long way. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.